So with NFL free agency going down, a whole lot of people moving and exchanging teams, Sean. Uh, teams making trades. Yeah. How does free agency affect this upcoming draft? I think it affects it in a major way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of shit changes. Where do we even start? Okay, so the Buffalo Bills, yeah. they're sitting now at 12. 12? After that trade, yeah. with Cordy Glenn to the Bengals, they flip-flopped. Yep. So they have the 12th and the 22nd still. 22nd. Yeah. Now, I'm thinking they moved up because they needed a quarterback, right? Yeah. But is 12 a good enough spot? Are they going to e- try to move up even further? And here, and what team could they do yeah. that with? The uh, the Denver Broncos, during yeah. free agency, they signed Case Keenum. To two-year contract. Yep. They love him. They think this he could be the guy for the foreseeable future. Yep. It's a great fit, they they believe. They, they missed out on Kirk Cousins. They didn't even, it, that wasn't even going to happen. They didn't even offer him nope. a contract because they nope. knew Kirk Cousins wasn't going to go there. So they got their guy for right now, Case yeah. Keenum. Yeah. They might not draft a quarterback. They might not even do it. They Everybody might, thought they might. They might go defense. Yeah. They, so, or trade out of it. Yeah. What if they just trade out? They're going to go defense. And, yeah. And they just trade with the Buffalo Bills. Bills move up to five. Yeah. And that gives them a better spot to get a quarterback. Yep. Yep. Or what? What if they go to number two? That's an option. And a lot of people are thinking about that. What if the the Giants, who have kind of gotten a... They got Nate Soldier, a yeah. left tackle. They're trying to revamp their offensive line for Eli Manning. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, like... They that's... got Jonathan Stewart. Yeah. So maybe they're like, you know what? Let's give it another year with this team. If they still believe in, they start in Eli, players. with the guys that they got at quarterback. Yeah. And like, we, we got our offensive line. looks pretty good. Jonathan yeah. Stewart. Let's if the Buffalo Bills want to move up to that two spot, they're gonna to have to give up a lot. And I heard yeah. a rumor of what they are willing to give. Uh, the rumor What'd you hear? that What'd you hear? at the Bills they might give up a shitload of picks. Really, a bunch of second rounders. It's not like they have as much else to give up. They, so. they, they, they they're gonna to have to give up a lot, and yeah. the Giants might consider that. So the Bills who are looking to get a quarterback, even mm-hmm. though they got AJ McCarron, yeah. they got AJ McCarron during free agency. Yes. Um, <laughs> AJ McCarron, that sucks for him. He's a loser. <laughs> We'll talk about that later. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> free agency loser. Yeah. Uh, but you know the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, I think they're going to move up to that fi- that fifth or second spot. Yeah, I, I agree. If the Giants are not looking to draft a quarterback, move out. Yeah, get out yeah. and get some more picks because you got some more holes you need to fill. Yeah. Because Case Keenum going to Denver really opens up that option. Because before before they had Case uh, Case Keenum. We're like, oh, they're definitely going to go quarterback. Now, not so much. No. Not so much. And the reason people... In fact, it's more than likely not going to yeah. happen. And I felt like they got Case Keenum like that. Gary Kubiak was Case Keenum's coach over there in Houston when he was with Houston. They're going gaga over fucking Keenum. Yeah, they're, they're liking him. And and I think it's actually he's a great fit for them. Because oh, Because it's the type of offense they want to run. No, oh, no, doubt about, no doubt about it. So man. I think they have a, a, a probable cause, a reason to be excited and trade down and address other needs. Of course, we got to talk about the Jets and oh. Colts trade. Wow. Jets were at six. They trade with the Colts. They yeah. swap uh, spots. Three to six, yeah. And uh, yeah. the Colts are going to... Uh, um, um, the Jets gave up some picks to yeah. the Colts, right? Which they desperately needed because yeah. they got a whole lot to fix. Wow. Well, a lot of holes to plug up there. Huge win for the Colts right there. So the Jets now drafting at three. Yeah. They're getting a quarterback, obviously. Yeah, that's the only reason you I don't, trade up. I yeah. don't think they gave up too much. Yeah. This is a team that's been starving for a quarterback. Yeah. This is a draft that looks good for quarterbacks, yeah. and they're, they they certainly think so. I don't mind that that trade with the Colts, mm-hmm. giving up all those picks and getting that. Yeah. Uh, if I, and it's a great for the Colts, by the yeah. way. First of all, they get all those picks, and they still might be able to get the same play they're going to get at three. It's kind of like, sim- like Chicago last year. I didn't like that we moved up, yeah. but Ryan Pace believed that he was the guy, so that's what you do. you yeah. you got to make that move. Yeah. So the Jets sitting at three, they're probably going to get – now, the Giants don't draft the quarterback, right? Mm. Let's say they trade out. Yeah. Um, or let's say they stay there and they get Saquon Barkley. Maybe Saquon Barkley or Quentin Nelson. If or they want to ensure that interior offensive line. I think they'll get Rosen. The yeah. Jets will. Yeah. Um, if not jo- uh, Josh Rosen, is it going to be Baker Mayfield or Josh Allen there at three? I think it's going to be Josh Allen. To the Jets? To the Jets. I'm thinking Baker. 
I would love Baker Mayfield to do. I just feel that like would, he seems like a New York personality. That would be pretty cool to see him. Yeah. Yeah, with his kind personality, of that little cockiness, like, being like in the it. being in the Big Apple in New York, yeah. that would be pretty cool. Both the two most cockiest quarterbacks could be going to New York, right? Rosen to the New York Giants. Yeah. And uh, Baker Mayfield to the New York Giants. Except the difference between their uh their cockiness is that yeah. Rosen's a fucking douchebag. Yeah, nobody he, likes him. Not his teammates. Baker Mayfield's teammates love him. Yeah, people rally around Baker. Yeah. But uh, so that was a big di- thing that that, ha- that happened yeah. during uh that shakes it up off season yeah. right there. But the Cleveland Browns during free agency they went out yeah. and they got Carlos Hyde. Mm. They're looking to possibly extend Duke Johnson Jr. Yeah. So they all oh, they also got Jarvis Landry and Tyrod Taylor, Demarius Randall. Yep. So now at one for sure, we were once we once thought that it was gonna be Saquon Barkley at number yep. one. Now, do you still think that's gonna happen? No, uh, because of the fact of what the Jets just did. Yep, the Jets I think forced the hand of the Browns. Yep. to have to take who they want at one. Sam Darnold to the Browns at number one, no doubt yeah. about it. Mm-hmm. But they still have an opportunity to get Saquon Barkley at four. Yep. But will they do it? I'm starting to think they won't even do it, even if he's there at four, because hmm. they signed Carlos Hyde. They're think they're talking about re-signing Duke okay. Johnson Jr., okay. and they seemed fine with that. They they seem fine with it. So this reminds me a little bit of the Cowboys situation uh, of when we got Zeke, because that offseason, I was really pumping up the whole before the draft, right after the NFL season was over. I started looking uh, to players, and I saw Zeke Elliott, and what did I tell you? I want Zeke. I want Zeke at four. Then what did we do? We went out and signed fucking Alfred Morris. Mm-hmm. And we had Darren McFadden. And I started doubting. I was like, fuck. We're not going to get Zeke now. But that's exactly what the Browns need to do. Go get exactly. Barkley. Do exactly what we did. Even though we're overpiled with talent or, I guess, players there. Because mm-hmm. everybody said the Cowboys had too much, right? We had Alfred Morris, Darren McFadden. We had too much talent at running back. But this is a guy that could change the game just like Zeke did. He could take you to that next level. You cannot pass up on that opportunity. Not just what Zeke did with the Cowboys, yeah. but what uh, Leonard Fournette did with the mm. Jaguars. What Todd Gurley can do with would the Rams. Be, would it be ironic? Three years in a row, the number four pick is a running back. That would be pretty weird. That would be weird. Zeke was number four. Uh, Leonard Fournette's four. Now, Saquon Barkley? Browns, I think they <laughs> got to do it, despite the fact Please they do. did go out there and get Carlos Hyde. I, I thought that was a head scratcher for me getting yeah. Carlos Hyde, but then again, it, but then again, you know, it does, you yeah. know, you know, free up their options a little bit. Yeah, if Barkley's not there for the, okay, okay, whatever. Yeah, you never know, you never know. But see, that was at the time I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting Barkley at number, number one, one yeah. no matter what. <laughs> but yeah. that's not gonna happen now. Mm. But you know what? I'm thinking. They could go defense. Yeah. They could go uh, Minka Fitzpatrick right here. If, if say, for example, the Giants do go uh, Squam Barkley yeah. at two. They could. Then go Minka uh, Fitzpatrick because they do need a safety help, yes. corner slash safety, either one, and Minka Fitzpatrick apparently play both. So get him. He's too good of a talent. They say he's one of the best athletes in this draft. He's the best athlete, they say. Yep. So that's a very real possibility. Yeah. They don't get Barkley. Maybe the Giants do. And even oh, if they don't, God, well, they might pass stops. it on to him anyway and go Minka Fitzpatrick at four. Don't do that, please. But here's another thing that happened what? during free agency. The Arizona yeah. Cardinals, <laughs> they picked up Sam Bradford. And they picked up Mike Glennon. Thank oh, you. Wilson loves that. You can have him. Wilson loves Thanks that. Thanks for nothing, asshole. Uh. <laughs> but now, that's their quarterback situation. Yeah. Sam Bradford, who's going to play till week two. Mm-hmm. And then Mike Glennon is your... Your savior yeah. <laughs> when Bradford complete goes down. Maybe five. Uh, he's going to attempt ten passes and complete three of them. Or they're currently know. sitting. Where they're sitting at? Fourteenth. Uh, fifteenth. 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 Cardinals yeah. need to. They need get to, a quarterback. They need to get a quarterback now. A lot of people are saying after all these trades with the Jets and now the Bills are probably going to try to trade up to five or possibly two. That most of these picks in the top five, there's going to be all these are going to be quarterbacks except for one with the Browns. The Browns are going to take it. Position player, obviously. So, but, I think the Cardinals, same thing with the Broncos. They need to get to that fifth or four, or, or second or, spot. Same as the Bills, you mean? As the Bills, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. As the Bills. So, yeah, they so, need to try to trade up. So, but, look for possibly, like, you know, the Bills and Cardinals, you know, trying to outdo one another, try to get into that fifth or second spot. But this is the Who's issue. willing to give up more? Who? How are you going to outbid the Bills, who have two first-rounders this year? You're going to have to. 
How? You're going to have to do some kind See, of Mike Ditka trade. This is, you remember Mike Ditka? Yeah. New Orleans? That's true. He's like, we'll give you everything for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Give us that fifth spot or second spot. I feel like the Jets forced the hand and it's going to force. And, uh, I think the Giants and the Broncos are going to be thinking the Jets right now. Because of what they just did and for, pretty much forcing teams like, hey, if you want a quarterback, you got to come up here and get it just like we did. And the Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> oh, God. If they don't go quarterback here, because they could go defense. They could do that, and they might go and get a quarterback in the second round. Wait. I'm hearing, I keep hearing Lamar yeah. Jackson, Arizona Cardinals, and I'm like, great, have the worst quarterback situation in the entire NFL with Sam Bradford, Mike Glennon, and Lamar Jackson. Please don't go Do Lamar. it. Go ahead. I dare if you. anything, if you don't get a quarterback, if say, for example, Cardinals can't trade up in the first round. Okay. Go go a different position, uh, 15th spot. Uh, then go Mason Rudolph. Exactly. I Go would love a guy that can actually throw the ball. I like Mason Rudolph. Like and he's you know not what? The, don't get me wrong. He's not the greatest quarterback. He I would. I don't know work, about. But... I don't know about at, at number fifteen. No, 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 no. He's a second round, second, second, second round, guy. third rounder guy. But I don't know. There might be another team that might be interested in Mason Rudolph though. That might yeah. beat him to the punch, and that yeah. team might be the Pittsburgh Steelers. I hear they like Mason Rudolph, and yeah. they are needing a replacement for Big Ben. But they just drafted Joshua Dobbs last offseason. Do they okay. already want to give up on him? I don't know. They drafted him last year. Don't give up on Joshua Dobbs. I think they're going to give him one more chance. I think so. I, but I don't know. I do like Joshua Dobbs. He's a smart guy. Let's just see if he can translate that to the NFL. But uh, he's a big he's a big quarterback, just like the Steelers like. But so is Mason Rudolph. So you got a point. But the Cardinals, I think, are in big God, trouble man. at quarterback situation. And they're in the worst spot, too. They're right in the middle of the draft yes. where it's like, it's you're gonna get you can't get those top tier quarterbacks. I don't know what to say, man. It's tough for them. They gotta hope that you know. Let's say the Browns pick uh, mm -hmm. Sam Darnold. Yeah. The Giants go Quentin Nelson. Yeah. Right. The Jets go Baker Rosen. Mayfield. Rosen. Oh, Rosen. Yeah, because yeah. Rosen be available there. Yeah. The Giants do that. Yeah. Rosen. And then at uh, four. And then at five, five. Let's say Bills trade oh, yeah. up, and they get uh, Josh Allen. Yeah. And then, Sam, at that at, then at that point, Baker, at that point, then Baker Mayfield should, may just be drop. available there at fifteen. Yeah, they should drop, that, or they could trade up at least a few spots yeah. to get him. And then that's that would have to be the best case scenario yeah. for the Arizona Cardinals regarding yeah. the quarterback situation. That Baker so, Mayfield or possibly Josh Allen, depending on how these teams are yeah. viewing the quarterbacks, yeah. falls to them at fifteen. They're just this all depends on what the Giants do at two. It yeah. all is going to yeah. depend on what the Giants do it too. It's going to be a hell of a draft, man. It's going to yeah. be crazy. It's, it's going to be crazy. Other free agency news that uh, that affects this draft, mm -hmm. I think, is the Chicago Bears. Yeah. Um, like the Bears, we were very active this uh, offseason. Yeah. We went out and got Shit Allen Robinson. Weapons. We Trey went Burton. and got Taylor Gabriel, Trey Burton. Yes, yeah. we got Cody Parkey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got your cup of kicker. Yes. Oh man. Uh, no, more, no more Robbie Gold curse. Hopefully. Yes. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, another need that that we might have to have is wide receivers still. Still? Still. Well, with Cameron Meredith maybe Because gone. we might yeah. lose Cameron Meredith. That's true. We might lose him. He's a restricted free agent. He, right now he's testing to see what, what interest out he's there. He's visiting with the Colts. I yeah, think. with the Indianapolis Today? Colts who just lost Dante Moncrief. Yeah, so you know they're going to be in need for that. And they have a lot of cap. So it's yeah. not like they can't offer money. So Chicago Bears, I think, are still in there for, Russ, for, uh, for uh, uh, a wide receiver. receiver. But not until the second, no, second or third round. Yeah. If we, if the second round and uh, Sutton's there or Christian Kirk is still there, I wouldn't mind that. Beginning of second round, I think it would be a perfect spot for Christian Kirk for y'all. But with the Bears' eighth pick, yeah, I think we got to go offensive line. Yeah. When we do Quentin Nelson, and that all depends. If he falls. That all depends on yeah. what the Giants do. This this whole scenario is all reflecting what the Giants yes. try to do. Because if the yeah. Giants don't get him, the only other team that might be interested in him would be Tampa Bay. Tampa but Bay. I don't think they're going to do that. I Because no. talking about the Bucks, yeah. I think they're going to go. Mika Fitzpatrick. Mika if, Fitzpatrick. if the Cleveland Browns take Saquon Barkley at yes. four. So this, that's because, why it's all going to depend. If, if, yeah, if they yeah. if they take Saquon Barkley at four, which they might not do because they got curls high during free agency. So that yeah. might happen. They, yeah. The Bucks might take uh, Mika Fitzpatrick with Quentin Nelson, the mm -hmm. best offensive lineman in the draft, falling yeah. to us at eight. Yeah. So free agency has a way of fucking with things in the draft. Yeah. And it makes it awesome. And, and I like it because uh, y'all needed, we all said it, you need 
the Bears need help yeah. for Mitchell Trubisky. Y'all addressing in free agency with those weapons, Trey Burton, Taylor Gabriel, and Allen Robinson, really frees up y'all's opportunities to go after line in the beginning of this draft. And, uh, okay. I was just thinking about the Oakland Raiders. Because oh, yeah? Marshawn Lynch, he's not going to be the guy. He's not going to be. Well, he's still going to be there. He's, he's probably coming back another year. Oh. Uh, him and Doug Barton. But Why? the Raiders still said that running back is still a key need for them. I would like uh, Geis, that running back. Geis? Yeah. Uh, he would probably Juice. be good. He, he looks like Juice, but it's Geis. Yeah. He would probably be a good fit for the Raiders. Hmm. But they do need defense. I think they're going to go defense first round yeah. and go running back second round. There's still some good talent running back wise. They have a top even ten pick, later right? in the uh, later. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they are, uh, so they guys are right in front, right behind their tenth. No, their tenth pick. Okay. So, yeah. um, but that's how we feel. Like mm-hmm. free agency might have affected the draft. Yep. Did affect the draft. Uh, did affect. Will yeah. affect the draft. But uh, we want to know y'all's thoughts about free agency affecting so far, the draft. It's still early. Which we oh, can't attend. God. We can't go oh, to it. You're talking about the draft. I was like, oh, but we will be streaming for it. Yes. So make sure you subscribe, turn up notifications, oh, because yeah. we we go live for the draft. We want you to tune in with us. But all right.